List of the 9 best things to do in Tulum 1. Hang out on Playa Paraiso The beaches of Tulum are the town's main attraction for a reason, and the best of the bunch is Playa Paraiso. The beach's white sand has been a winner of TripAdvisor's Traveler's Choice Award for the best beach in all of Mexico. Best of all, Playa Paraiso is a publicly accessible beach, meaning a visit this natural wonder is one of the great free things to do in Tulum. If you want to spend a little cash, Villa Pescadores and El Paraiso beach clubs offer loungers for a minimum spend on drinks and food. It's an easy walk from here to the second best thing to do in Tulum. 2. Marvel at the Tulum Ruins One of the best things to do in Tulum. They may not be the largest Mayan ruins in Mexico, but their spectacular location. On a cliff overlooking the beach makes the Tulum Ruins a marvelous sight to behold. A visit here is a must from anywhere in the Yucatan, and it's definitely one of the top things to do in Playa del Carmen as well. With Tulum's meteoric rise on the tourist scene, the 13th century ruins can get a bit crowded. So visit early in the day for the best chance to snap that envy-inducing Instagram shot without pushing your way through a crowd of visitors. The entrance fee is 65 pesos per person, $3.40. Don't miss these spectacular ruins on your trip to the Yucatan. 3. Take a mud bath in a lagoon. One of the best kept secrets in Tulum is the Laguna de Conlua, which sits just 9 kilometers south of Tulum town. This magical lagoon hosts a huge cenote, underground spring, in its center, which imbues the lagoons. Water with a spectacular array of colors. Visit to the lagoon can bath in the mud that's produced by the cenote, and which according to legend has healing properties. Plus, its reasonable entrance fee, 50 pesos, makes it one of the great budget things to do in Tulum. 4. Fall in love at Burrito Amor. I've had thousands of burritos in my lifetime, and I can't think of any tastier than the creative banana leaf wrapped burritos served up at Burrito Amor. Located along Tulum's main road on the south end of town, Burrito Amor serves up some of the most delicious food in a town. And, best of all, the average price is only about 100 pesos, $5.25. This is easily one of the best places to eat in Tulum, and a can't-miss stop when you are in Tulum town. 5. Sip a mojito at Beatty. As Tulum's nightlife scene explodes, the same unassuming bar still remains the go-to place to start your night out. At Beatty you'll find live music in the evenings and an energetic crowd spilling into the streets with tropical drinks in hand. Oh, and you can even watch them press the sugar cane for your mojito. It doesn't get much fresher than that. Mojitos go for 120 pesos, $6.30, and while that's a bit pricey when backpacking Mexico. 6. The drinks are worth every peso. The vibe here is excellent. And it's always packed with people looking to have a good time. Make sure to check out Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, Cabo San Lucas, and Cozumel. Explore the San Con Biosphere. Just south of Tulum lies the enormous San Con Biosphere, a protected area home to thousands of species of flora and fauna, as well as some of the most pristine water in Mexico. Inside the park, you'll find dolphins, turtles, and more fish and birds than you can count. Note that the long road through the park is very rough, so you'll either need to rent a 4x4 for the drive or sign up for a tour. It makes for a great day trip from Tulum. 7. Go into the jungle to witness Coba. The Tulum ruins are great for their setting, but if you're looking for a more substantial Mayan pyramid, you still don't have to go far from Tulum. Though slightly less popular than the famous ruins at Chichen Itza. I think the Coba ruins make for a much more enjoyable day trip from Tulum. Well, for one thing, you have to bike through thick jungle to reach them. 45 pesos, $2.40 for a bike rental. And, for another, you can still climb to the top of the main pyramid at Coba. Climbing is forbidden at the more famous Chichen Itza ruins. You'll have to climb up 120 steep stone steps to the top of Coba, but it's worth the effort for the views from the summit. To get here, you can take the local Adu bus, rent a car, hire a private taxi, or take a tour. 8. Take a dip in a cenote. The most refreshing thing to do in Tulum is to take a dip in a cenote, jungle swimming holes formed when underground springs cut into the limestone bedrock. There are dozens of cenotes in the Tulum area to choose from, but one of the most popular is Cenote dos Ojos. Which is located just 20 minutes north of town, you can get there by colectivo or via a taxi. And actually, if you are a scuba diver, you can do a dive at dos Ojos. You may wonder why you'd ever leave the gorgeous beaches in Tulum, 
but once you try a dip in a cenote, you'll understand why the locals actually prefer the cool fresh water of the cenotes to the sea. 9. Rent a daybed at Beach Club. Tulum South Beach is gorgeous, but can be difficult to access unless you are staying at one of the many resorts that control the beachfront. One way around that is to rent out a day bed at a beach club, and the best of the bunch is Papaya Playa Project. Less pretentious than its neighbors, this bohemian beach club serves up some seriously delicious food in an Instagram-worthy setting. Note that while there is officially a minimum spend of 500 pesos, $26, I've often found the servers willing to lower or waive that if you ask in advance. Get in the water. Okay, so this may seem like an obvious thing to include on a list of the best things to do in Tulum. But, with so many other activities in Tulum, it can be easy to forget that the gorgeous water is the star here. So be sure to build in some time in your Tulum itinerary to take a swim in the sea. Or take it one step further and enjoy some snorkeling, paddleboarding, riding a banana boat or jet ski, or any of the many incredible water activities on offer in Tulum. You'll find vendors all throughout the beach and in the town willing to help you get your adventure on.